Welcome, welcome, welcome to the film show with sumptuous buns. On the menu today, I'm going to take a look at a movie that was panned by the world's film critic community. But fear not, my learned brothers, that community is old, overpaid, and obviously lacking a decent vantage point. So, what's the plot? Well, William Hurt's American president, Ashton, is assassinated in a plaza just before he signs an anti-terrorist treaty. Ashton's loyal secret serviceman, Thomas Barnes, played by Dennis Quaid, must act fast to find out who did it. Mortimer Clips. Vantage Point is a bit like the Times cryptic crossword. It's a clever piece of work, but one that's not to be taken seriously. The concept of the film is 24 meets the bodyguard, except that rather than getting hour-long episodes in real time, you see the President Ashton getting shot from a series of different perspectives. Oh, and rather than Kevin Costner, you get Dennis Quaid. The first vantage point belongs to TV news producer Sigourney what? Weaver, who watches the events unfurl on her monitors. Now? Then Quaid's, then Forrest Whitaker's tourist with camcorder in tow, then Eduardo Noriega's yeah. Spanish cop, and so forth. I think you get my point. So now, does this plot device work, you're wondering? Well, yes, my friends, damn it, yes. After a year of linear storytelling, Vantage Point is as refreshing as a skinny dip in the Arctic Ocean. Sure, the script is never going to rewrite the cinematographer's handbook, but screenwriter Barry Levy has done us all a great service by not only demanding his audience pay attention, but also serving up a good old-fashioned slice of whodunit pie. If I seem to be asking too many questions of myself, and perhaps you, dear viewer, it's because I'm trying to get my head around why you wouldn't really enjoy this movie. It might be to do with the improbability of its ending, or the fact that an ageing bodyguard might have a chance of doing his job properly. But, do you know what? I had a really damn good time, and as a result, have no hesitation in giving it a solid four stars. And finally, it's time for Piggy Piggy Snack Sacks, and on the menu today, I've got you something rather unusual. Yes, look at this fella. It's called a Pocky, a giant Pocky, strawberry flavoured. I have no idea what's in this, so let's have a go. Now, this is my first surprise. What we've actually got here is a breadstick. That's not all of it, some of it's fallen off in there, but no matter. Uh, strawberry flavoured coating, it looks like some sort of yoghurt coating. And then, of course, the bread underneath. Reasonable crunch. And there's not really so much a bread as a kind of shortbread, and quite sweet and quite tasty with it. Now, ordinarily, I'd find this kind of thing disgusting. And inside of me, there's a voice saying, give it two stars and move on. But there's something that just works in it. It's not something I'd ever return to again. But for this moment in time, it's a three star. 